Okay guys, welcome back to Reality Check SA. My name is Ntanta, I'm from South Africa. An interesting conversation and controversial conversation between Andrew Tate and Ryan Garcia. Uh, this Ryan Garcia individual has some very interesting things, interesting and controversial things to say. So I want you guys, and if these things are true, it will literally make you wonder what the heck is going on. So I want you guys to listen to this and then I'll add a few clips just to give you guys a little bit of context and I'll give my thoughts and opinions after. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a f bro. They held me down and they made me watch little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down, and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. He doesn't want to take us all, so let's go. Come on, Ryan. He doesn't want to take us all. Come on, fuck this guy. Bro, fuck this dude, dude. Come on, come on. Who? Who? Bro, you know, you know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part no, about they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these things? On, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. The fuck are you talking about? Of course. If Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to well, get my, you out of it? I can help. Well, you. Bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, well, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. Well, <laughs> tell us what. Tell everyone at home then. Start from the beginning. When did this happen? Where did this happen? What exactly did you see? Why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted? Let people at home understand you a little. Because bit. I don't give a fuck, bro. They raped me, right? I was two years old, they raped me. I have proof of that too. That's where it all started, bro. Okay? You do know there's gonna be certain people who believe, and I'm, Ryan, you know, I like you. We've been speaking for years. You know there's yeah. gonna be people who believe you're just saying this because you've, I don't know, had a mental breakdown or taken drugs and you're repeating of course, some of, of the course. things you've said on the internet and the, Guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you unless you come at it very the drug coherently. Test, Andrew, Andrew, I'll go to the fucking Romania and take a drug test in front of your face. Bro, you don't want to come here. <laughs> you, you don't need Romanian jail. It's bad for your fight camp. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're going to have to, you're going to have to tell a far more, co more coherent story from start to finish for people to truly understand that what you're saying happened is what you saw and that this is not some sort of episode or anything else. This is my advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it, if you want people to believe you, you're going to have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. Of course they're going to want that and I have all the information possible. Okay, so when you're releasing it, how are you releasing it? Or are you keeping it for yourself? Because it looks like you don't want to keep it for yourself. I don't. At the right time, I'm going to release all of it. But at the right time, I'm going to do it. They're already calling me to tell me to stop. I don't give a fuck, dude. I've already had a meeting with them. I'm going to let you sit with that, Andrew. All right, bro. Well, I want you to know that either way, I'm praying for you. And I hope that... Thank you, bro. You know, no, and, and I, mean I don't give absolutely. a fuck, bro. A Alex Jones has been singing the same shit, and they try to... Can't the only reason they can't stop me because they listen to the devil. I listen to God. God gave me authority. It's over for everybody, bro. Now, you're hearing what this Ryan Garcia person is saying? He's saying that when he was little, two years old, he was allegedly 
scraped and this seems to be a reoccurring thing in the bohemian groove now what is that what is this bohemian groove i'm not even sure if i'm pronouncing it right but basically what i understood by the definition of what happens here at the bohemian groove everything is that it is a sacrificial place where the higher elites sacrifice people to stay in power i don't know what you guys think about this but i think the video that i'm about to show you will give you sort of like a great perspective on this let's get into bohemian grove let's get into the technocracy let's get into who runs things which bohemian groves what they call it that they've got this this ritual so i'm sitting there during the ritual and i'm like hey this is pretty cool and the dude goes shut up i'll kill you and they're all taking it very seriously and they were taking it very serious this hearse comes in with the body of a child it is an effigy they're not killing yeah. it and well, they, it's and, just a bundle of sticks, right? Yeah, well, it looks like a kid. No, later, others infiltrated later that worked there and got us photos of it. It's an image of a kid. Look at that. Look at that owl god and look at the fire underneath the owl god. And there's Ronald Reagan, and I knew that he was part of the actual ritual at Bohemian Grove. But that's from the Bible, is you would sacrifice a child to Moloch. Give not your yeah. children to the fires of Moloch. Right. Listen, you could ignore that if it was like a bunch of poor people in the woods doing that. These guys even are, then I'd be worried. Even then it would be weird. These guys are the are the top of like every industry in America. It's at least curious. A YouTuber broke into the Bohemian Grove two weeks ago and captured everything in HD. This video is like the first of its kind I've ever seen. He got a ton of footage, but let me show you what he got of the owl. Mine. And that's the uh the owl statue. Holy fuck. Dude, I'm actually I'm actually here. This is insane. No way. Bohemian Grove. I made it. Yeah. This is the owl statue. What the fuck? No way. That's hollow. And they need to fill this pond up. And they do. Yeah, that's the owl. A bunch of ferns have grown on it. Now that is absolutely insane. For those of you that don't know, the Bohemian Grove is speculated to be some kind of conspiracy theory of where the elite go to sacrifice people. They hold their weird rituals there and that's how they stay in power. The real definition is that it is an invite only elite club. Only the biggest names in the world can come here. Nobody really knows what's going on in there. They just kind of light an owl and go there. Seeing all this stuff up close and everything is absolutely insane. The fact that the owl is hollow blew my mind. Seeing everything overgrown and abandoned makes me think they moved to another location for their elite invite only club. It's probably somewhere underground at this point, to be honest, so it's away from the public eye. Always, guys, you know, in my videos, I'm always interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section. So please do leave your thoughts in the comment section. Anyway, here are my thoughts. Listen, I think all of us know that the higher ups are some sort of pedophiles i'm not even sure if i'm allowed to say this on youtube but we all know the weird ways of the higher ups we all know the the, the secret behind hollywood we all know that uh, famous people there's been conspiracies everywhere of how they sacrifice this to do that how they sell their souls so honestly this to me is not really that much of a conspiracy in a way I believe maybe there are some lies here and there. I mean, there's so much evil in this world. And I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about God. There's so much evil in this world. There must be a God. It is self-evident at this point. And I know some of you are going to be like, Hey, just because this, th th people are just genuinely bad and evil doesn't mean there's a God. No. 
there is a God. And I would argue that the logic that there is a God is actually logical. It's coherent. It makes sense. Even when you view it from a scientific point. Because all of these people that are scientists would be like, Oh, it's not logical to assume that a, a, a creator exists. No, it's completely logical. Everything has its creation. Everything is created. There must be a creator. And there is evil. It is evident in our world. And I believe Alex Jones has already proven that this bohemian groove thingy actually exists. There was an interview of him, it's interview from quite a while back, where he was interviewing a person that allegedly was there at the bohemian groove. This person was not even denying its existence. I'll show you guys this video once more. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open. And got the video, and it's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't we deserve to know? You, you took an, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials you, I'm sorry, you took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up sir. after. Oh, I'm I sorry. I just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, everything. Uh, you, I, 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 don't, I don't owe you this comment. I know. I you, 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 you have. You. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh. That's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets when that's, that's an inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine. But don't ask others to respect you for it. If you want to, you, you can do, you're free American, like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, one. Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry, nobody sets policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously, you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here? <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! 1,700-acre secluded redwood grove. Leaders from around the world, prime ministers, chancellors, presidents, governors, again, the heads of industry, banking, academia, the media, Hollywood, only a select few, a little over 2,000 people, travel there to engage in bizarre, ancient, Canaanite, Luciferian, Babylon, mystery religion ceremonies. And uh, I successfully infiltrated through the Secret Service, uh, through the guards, through the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. We were inside four hours. That's only one day out of the two weeks that they meet there for the admitted summer fire festival of the Bohemian Club. I'm a veteran who was here as long. Now, guys, um, I'm going to stop this video here because I see... I stopped the video because it was blurry and everything, but you guys get the gist, right? I tremendously believe this is true. And here's why. People, till this day, are still doing some bizarre rituals. Back then, it was a no-brainer. People had bizarre rituals. People were worshipping idols. People were worshipping false gods. People were worshipping the real god. People were worshipping evil spirits. That's essentially what they did. And they're still doing it to this day. I know here in Africa, some people that are really, you know, into some really dark shit. So, this makes sense to me, right? I believe that the elites believe in their uh, God. And they worship that God. And, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this. I don't really have that much to say. But I do believe everything that Ryan Garcia said about the child graping thingy. I honestly believe that. I believe that some sick and twisted people 
in this earth that will do anything for power. Some may argue those people are demons. I would argue that too. Tell me what you guys think about this. This video is a little bit long <laughs> than my regular videos. But I just wanted to delve into this conspiracy theory. Which I would argue for me is not a conspiracy theory. Like, yes, there's some loopholes here and there. But it makes sense to me.